did I run over? I might go touch it. It looks like egg yolk or something. I don't know. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. It's D with the lifestyle. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing good. We got the car outside in the sun. If you guys can see the title, we are parked outside of the new place that we're gonna be talking about today. So give me guys, or give me like six minutes tops for today's video. Quick walk around with the car, got it all cleaned up. We were gonna go on a little cruise the other day and it got canceled because lack of attendance. But I went ham on the back windshield because I had some horrible like water staining and etching. There's a little bit still going on, but uh, I got it the best I could. So car's looking immaculate. This shot right here, oh my. I'm running really good. I do not know what I ran over on the way here. I don't remember hitting anything. Like I said earlier, so we are posted up outside our new place right here. I just moved in with my brother. As you guys know, I was staying in Vancouver. I've been there for almost two years now and we had to force move really quickly. So I'm gonna walk you guys right inside of here. I'm gonna show you the place first and then we'll talk about what went down. We got the living room, dining room, kitchen, fridge, little workout spot on the back porch, laundry room. Behind this little door, this is supposed to be an office, but we've turned it into my room. So I got my editing set up. The mirrors in here are a lifesaver. It makes the room look a lot bigger, but uh, we had a downsized beds to a twin. Kind of sad about that because I need a firm bed and this one's just like those olden day springs, if you know what I'm talking about. Thankfully though, we're only gonna be here for three months. So we're gonna be moving after that. Inside of here, we got a little bathroom. But yeah, I'm grateful. Appreciate my brother for giving me the spot. If you guys have been following, we've been staying in Vancouver for the last year and a half to two years. And I just left there last week because, uh, not to give too much information, my brother-in-law just got behind on payments and he didn't let me know. I pay him cash under the table, my rent. There was like $6,000 behind the rent. They were sending eviction notices. He never told me about it. And then push came to shove and we all had to find a new place to go. And pretty much that's it. It wasn't even them who kicked me out. Once they came in and shut off the Wi-Fi, that was my first cue. And then three days later, they came and shut off the water and I was already gone by then. So it was Wi-Fi that really got me out. I mean, next was gonna be power, gas, all that stuff that goes on with eviction. So I hope he figures it out. Hope he's able to get back on his feet and things can go back to normal for them. It works out okay for me though, because I'm 10 minutes from the shop now which is pretty much where I live. Before my commute was 30 minutes to the shop and then 45 minutes home after work. And now it's 10 minutes in the morning. Anyways, yeah, so we're back here in Portland and we're just gonna pick up where we left off with the content. I know I haven't even been posting because it's just been busy. We had a great time at the dunes when we went out. We're gonna be going at the end of this month, July. And right when we got back, I was just sick. I've been sick for the past two weeks. I'm still fine a little bit every single morning. like. I sound like a frog waking up in the morning. For me, we'll be here for about three months and we'll see what happens after that. So shout out to my brother for giving me the spot so quickly. And we wanna keep this video short. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.